Uh, so, I got to be with Sai, uh, Sai from Storm, uh, 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 just want to talk about the, the difference between City last season and this season, and that's absolutely how you see Storm as well, and getting more than any calls from the season past, and explore quality judgment. He's just going to let you feel good with John Storm, he's not going to be last season, and why he had to find his feet. Well, all the numbers suggest that City are better than last season. I, I think it's a, I think it's a similar level. Um, despite you know, the the evidence is there that the numbers are better. Sometimes you can go through a run where you know you won't see goals. And City, they they know what they're doing, but they knew what they were doing last season. And if we look at the end of the season, it was a bit harder. You know, there were more injuries, uh, there were more competitions. You know, bigger competitions, bigger games, tiredness, all that kind of stuff. So towards the end of the season, the second half of the season, with that big lead, you know, results kind of dropped off a bit but if you look at the start of last season with the 7-2 here against Stoke and those big results I think it's a similar level to that really City weren't conceding a lot of goals I don't think at this stage last season October November last season I think it's kind of similar and you know given I'm saying similar that's a very high level that is the level that got City 15 points clear 17 points clear at Christmas and you can't really say fairer than that and when you consider they've gone to Arsenal gone to Spurs gone to Liverpool come away with seven points sweeping away everyone who comes into the Etihad it's such a high level yeah they're pretty much on track with last season and I think they can get better and I think they will get better yeah yeah I mean look the Carabao Cup's not a great example because there's so many other factors but you just saw the way he just makes City tick, he makes City flow, he just he just injects a bit of pace, which is not just the passing ball, the way he carries the ball, the way he holds himself, the way he moves. It's mad to think that City are doing all this, and we've said all this about how, how good they're doing, without De Bruyne. It's crazy to think, as you say, 20 minutes in the league the other week, now he's out again. It just goes to show how well organised they are under Guardiola, and how good the players are, and how good their understanding of what Guardiola wants actually is. It's, it's frightening really. In terms of today's game, do you give Southampton any chance of getting anything, even a goal or a point or anything? At the risk of sounding really stupid in about three hours time, I just can't see it. I just can't see it. They haven't scored in five games. I think it will be the club record to go six. You can't see them scoring. Maybe they will. You never know. Maybe they will score. I certainly can't see them coming away with, with any points. Yeah, well, that's the stage it's got to. Like we say, City are so good now, the opposition will just take whatever they can get. And in recent times, you know, five games here, six games here, it's been nothing, absolutely nothing for the opposition. When Mendy's playing, Sandy isn't. Yeah, well, I mean, generally, yeah, he has played a few times. They did play last week, um, but I think it's just it's just normal, really. When Mendy provides that with, you've got Sterling coming in from the from the left hand side onto his right, and he's proven really good at that. And obviously, you've got Mares on the other side doing the same thing, coming from his right into his left, and he's really good at that. So you can see why he's doing it. Obviously, Sane's got a lot to offer. He will still have a big say in City season, but the opportunities for him are a bit limited. There will be certain games where maybe. Mendy doesn't provide the width, maybe he comes into the middle a bit more, and then you've got Sane for the width, but it's just another option for Guardiola basically, in terms of keeping the team happy, and maybe giving Sane a new contract, maybe at the moment he's thinking, I'll have to see how this goes, so on an individual level, maybe Sane's not too happy with it, but from the collective point of view, it's just, it's just good news for City, it really is. Anytime mate, thank you very much.